Sculptor Nancy Shearn wasn't the only person inspired by inaugural poet Amanda Gorman. That was arguably exactly the poem this country needed at that moment. It worked splendidly. Stephanie Burt is a Harvard professor of English, a renowned literary critic, and... Consider this wooden plank whose knots resemble eyes. I write some poems and sometimes people publish them and I'm very grateful. In her 2017 collection of poems, Advice from the Lights, Bert shares intimate moments of her life. Advice is a book that I began writing when I realized I needed to come out as some kind of trans. I realized that I'm actually a girl and I'm very binary. My pronouns are she, her all the time and I needed to take steps to live that way. And I'd be accepted by my loved ones and I'd be much happier. And for readers who think they don't like poetry, Bert's 2019 book, Don't Read Poetry, a book about how to read poems, may change their mind. Some poems give you a sense of community. Some poems can reflect your own feelings back to you and help you understand them. Some poems can give you the feeling of meeting someone, of getting to know a person who's not you. Bert says the written word offers something for everyone. And the librarians at the Boston Public Library agree. So who better to ask for reading recommendations? Christina Jones is a floating librarian. I'm helping business people as much as I can before turning it over to the professionals <laughs> or helping the teens find something that they really want to read and then also helping people coming in doing genealogy research. So it's a vast knowledge versus just focusing on one department. We asked Jones and two of her colleagues to suggest some titles. Jones's pick, Dread Nation, a novel by Justina Ireland. Picture an imitation of life, the movie, meets The Walking Dead after the Civil War. It's a twist on historical fiction with modern times. So you're saying that slavery is abolished, but we have zombies. <laughs> Elaine Sherman has been with the library for more than 30 years. Her pick is authored by a young, well-known activist. It's good to deal with women who don't hesitate to take risks and will fight for what they believe in. And one of my favorites, contemporary, is Greta Thunberg. She's written a book called No One Is Too Small To Make A Difference. It's about climate change and about the way she fought for it. And Central Library Manager Anna Flynn says audiobooks are the way to go. I don't read the books, I listen to them on audiobook. So I have my phone with me everywhere, it's really great. She recommends The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. It's the first book in a trilogy called The Broken Earth Trilogy. And the genre is science fantasy. And what's kind of amazing about that is it's a genre that's really dominated by white men. And this book is written by a woman of color. And you can really tell the difference because the main characters are women and they're complex and they're strong. Good reads any time of year. The Boston Public Library sponsors several book clubs. For readers who live outside the city, the librarians recommend checking with your local library to see if they offer a book club, as many do. And a reminder to download Chronicle the Podcast, which features a longer interview with Caroline Coutsiri, the author and actress we talked with earlier in tonight's show. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Anthony Everett. Have a good evening, a good weekend, and we hope to see you back here again on Monday night.